Hi, I'm Dr. Joe DeBruin. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoy what you hear today, please check me out and learn more at my website, joedebruin.com, and please subscribe for further videos. Today is a super exciting topic for me. It's called the joy of being a clinical psychologist. Yes, as a psychologist talking with people for, for many years, I encounter many, many stories of abuse, neglect, uh, illness, loss, hurt, pain, struggle, confusion, isolation, dysfunction, chaos, boredom, anger, sadness, loneliness, rigidity, judgment, anxiety, consumerism, shame, guilt, fear, disappointment, apathy, fatigue, embarrassment, jealousy, envy, abandonment, cynicism, worry, pessimism, grief, doubt, and stress. Yes, those are many of the themes of many conversations I've had, but I've had the enormous pleasure and enormous joy, enormous good fortune of watching people move beyond those things and through those things and experience success and growth and resilience and hope and faith and peace and beauty and intimacy and joy and stability and self-respect and meaning and courage, affection, passion, humility, grace, curiosity, dreams, generosity, wisdom, contentment, friendship, victory, accomplishment, satisfaction, validation, trust, and pride. I have been enormously blessed in my career. Everyone thinks that, oh, if you're a psychologist, it's just that first list of stuff. Yeah, we dabble in that. But the real gold uh, is that second list, the, those kinds of things that I've seen in people's lives and see and watch them grow. I personally think that as a clinical psychologist, it's the greatest job in the world helping and watching people change their lives. You know, most of the efficacy, the helpfulness of, uh, of therapy, of the therapy process, is really the strength of the relationship. Building a relationship with a person here in this office is a platform for growing from that first list of stuff, growing and developing that second list of stuff. I think uh, part of the joy of being a psychologist is also that I think it's made me a better person. It's made me less judgmental. It's made me more nuanced in my thinking, less black and white, less driven by anxiety over what other people think about me. I don't necessarily care that much about what other people think about me compared to maybe once I, what I once did as a younger man. It's made me more focused on the limitations of time in life. We've got a set amount of time. What do we want? What do we need? What are we gonna do? The clock is ticking. It's made me less uh, focused around kind of cookbook formulas, uh, that there's a cookbook formula for how to do something. There's a lot of ways to get from A to B. Um, it's also uh, definitely helped me appreciate that we all, myself, we all have stuff. Whatever that is, we all have stuff. And that change, the change process is really a lifelong journey. And this role of being a psychologist has really ingratiated me to uh, four different really important areas of life. Growing in vulnerability, growing in authenticity, having community, and this concept of integration. Integration of all of the components of our life, our spiritual, our physical, our social, our educational, everything. I am so glad uh, that I'm a psychologist. It is a joy to be a psychologist, and this is uh, the platform that is created for me.